it is day one prepping for my official hair transplant journey. For over 180 days now, I've been trying to naturally grow my hairline in. I've used derma stamping to try to get the blood flowing in order to help the hair growth progress. I've even made my own hair growth oil by combining the best oils with the best hair growth properties. Batana oil, rosemary oil, apple seed oil, castor oil, etc. I've also been using Hems 5% Minoxidil hair regrowth treatment, but I was recommended to stop using Minoxidil a week prior to the hair transplant. And since I am going to be giving up my 360 ways for a very, very long time, why not do a breast session? one last time. And with that being said, go ahead and grab your soft brush, start brushing from your crown, work down to your hairline. You want to make sure you hit all eight angles. If you don't know your eight angles, be sure to check out my 14 video series on my TikTok account where I teach you all your 360 wave basics and fundamentals. Once you learn your eight angles, come back, start brushing from your crown, work down to your hairline. You want to make sure you hit all eight angles, 60 strokes each angle. Don't you dare miss an angle. Now there is a problem that needs my undivided attention before I actually get my hair transplant. I have this condition called seborrheic dermatitis. The way I would define it is just dry skin that won't go away no matter what you do. And in the winter time, it gets really bad. So I have this dry skin on my face, my eyebrows, my sideburns, my scalp has it the worst. And a few years ago, it started growing on my chest as well. I've heard there's no cure for seborrheic dermatitis, but I'm never the one to pass up on a challenge. So I am gonna go on a journey to try to cure my seborrheic dermatitis naturally. Seborrheic dermatitis is easier to control with little to no hair. This is why I wanna cut off all my hair in order to kind of tame or control my seborrheic dermatitis before I go and get my hair transplant. I did reach out to the clinic beforehand and ask if I could cut off my hair. And they said they would recommend at least one week's worth of hair the day of the procedure. So if you happen to have seborrheic dermatitis and want to tame it or control it before you get your hair transplant, I'll advise you cut your hair a week and a half to two weeks before in order to try to control your seborrheic dermatitis before you actually get your hair transplant. Also, if you are using minoxidil or any other medication similar to minoxidil, you need to stop using it two weeks before your hair transplant. If you drink alcohol or smoke or do anything that's risky to your health, stop doing it two weeks prior to your hair transplant. Fun fact, waves are just curly hair trained to lay down. So in order to control the seborrheic dermatitis, we're gonna start off by wetting our hair. And right after we're gonna grab our strawberry mint shampoo and conditioner bar. You guys can actually find this shampoo bar on my website, thelatherspot.com. I'm actually having an Easter promotion. Use code Easter24 to get 24% off your entire order. You wanna go ahead and do two washes with the shampoo bar to really get a nice cleanse. Once you've thoroughly scrambled washed and massaged your scalp on the second wash, go ahead and rinse that out and patch your head dry with a clean towel. Once your head is dry, you're going to moisturize your scalp with the moisturizer of your choice, immediately following up with your strawberry mint growth oil to seal in your moisturizer that you just used. If you haven't gotten your hands on the strawberry mint growth oil yet, be sure to grab yours at thelatherspot.com. Use code EASTER24 at checkout to get 24% off your oil. This is what the scalp is looking like after the first day of treatment. Let's continue to try to control the seborrheic dermatitis before we actually get the hair transplant. Make sure to follow me for my hair transplant journey.